Okay, we are in Vader Immortal. We are going to resume but start a new game, I think. But I have played this before, I keep wanting to press that. Get all this up so it doesn't ache. Okay, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Vader and Mortal. We better move it, Captain. The Huts want their spice back. We gotta jump to hyperspace. We're dead. Put the bike for the hyperdrive. All right, hyperdrive controls are active. Make the jump to light speed. I was going to probably actually do this a little bit more, I know that. I had to put my, uh, nice one, Captain. my headphones. Oh, that never gets this. old. I'm just going to add some earbuds, I think. Well, as soon as we <sighs> because the sound will come through twice. We are sitting for day. You know, maybe then you can make those uh, repulsor lift upgrades you've been promising me forever. You know, and... Forever. Uh, lift. Like you know, it looks like we're going to be in well. hyperspace for a while here, so feel free to go back and check our loot. You name it. Sky's the limit. Okay, I'll have my hands back, please. Thank you very much. Captain, I got this covered. Why don't you go back there and relax? All right, let's go back here and relax. I've played this before, so I know what happens when you come and pick this shit up. No idea. John Peddler said it was some kind of unfair artifact. Oh, uh, this how many things down the car the last time I put on. Make the make the junk peddler today. Okay, let's do this. Oh, scrap. I'm so, honestly such a small person. Damage back there. Well, I try to reroute the power. Why don't you go ahead and scan the ship? Okay, scanning the ship. Oh, look, the relay's down. Well, looks like the main sensor antenna has been damaged. Sensor down. All right. Next one's relay. Let's switch to backup. Okay, engaged. Next one. Switching to defense systems. Yeah. Well, the deflector shield See, the, totally If the deflector shield was offline, one more hit and we would have been wouldn't we know it from like all the gadgets at the front? Like, I mean, it'd be a bit late, you know. Okay, well, they're offline now. Anyway. Something's wrong, Captain. Let's go check it out. I know it's all worked out. I can get myself more to the front. Captain, you need to see this. We got a big. I think this is one of the best looking games um, on the quest, even though you can see the textures just down there. Hyperspace and put us down in the Atreides sector. We're in the outer rim. But it's definitely one of the most impressive games. That doesn't look like any Star Destroyer that I've ever seen. This is Star Destroyer class, surely. This is Admiral Carius of the Galactic Empire. Surrender control of your ship immediately. This is ZOE3, first mate on the Windfall. Zoe to my friends, uh, there must be some mistake. Admiral, the Windfall is a humble salvage vessel. Any sort of immediate compliance will result in your destruction. I don't know to destroy us, you? My bad, Admiral. Sorry about that. Slaving our ship's guidance to your Imperial control now. 
Yeah, that oh, awesome that's still. Right. Well, we didn't do anything that bad. Well, it's been there for a long while. There's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? I do not know why they're taking us there, though I haven't played it before, so I kind of do know how, why. But, I don't know. This looks cool, though. And I like the way you actually feel like you're flying. It does actually feel like you're flying right now. Like and uh, I got a bad when you go into this uh, this shuttle bay or whatever you want to call it, um, it actually feels really realistic as well. I quite like it. It's a really good feeling. It feels like I'm actually coming in here. There's a TIE fire, TIE bombers. Um, and then you've also obviously got tons of uh, the most worst soldiers you could ever find in the galaxy. I would love to see what this looks like on a PC version with the PC graphics. You know, I'm getting the feeling they're onto us. I'll hide the credit chip. You wipe the ship's now. So just teleported over there. I don't like that kind of stuff. Yeah. You're standing next to it, standing next to it, right? Okay, I've locked them out. I'm a Hello? Worry, Captain. Open your door. Oh, back to us, oh. front. Oh, uh, just, just a moment. Sorry, we're Oh! Hi. Uh, a thousand. Don't move, scum. You've caused us considerable inconvenience, smuggler. Smugglers? Who said we were smugglers? Silence destroyed. Who are these smugglers? Thank you. Take them both. I mean your dad. She is irritating to listen to. Uh, now, I don't remember them having uh, stun weapons at all in Star Wars. Maybe they do. I'm not very canon. But... That droid just looks like it's there. I'm not joking, it's like literally there, even with this uh, quest within its limited uh, ability. It it's just looks so great. It looks really that. My name is Admiral Kerry. Yeah, you said. In a moment, Darth Vader, Lord of this monolith, will give you a task at which you will undoubtedly. See how I can twist my, twist my right arm like this. I, do I just don't think you can do that with yours. I don't understand why the second command would be cleaning the cell anyway. You'd get Droid to do it, or, or I don't know, you slave or something. To fall under his it looks good. And you will not be the oh, big guy. I bet, Mr. Vader. Tons of women have got something very similar to your head in their bedside cabinet. You may wonder why I have brought you here. You are required okay, to perform me. one simple task. See, where does that come from? Open this configuration and I will spare your life. Alright, I'll open it. As long as it end that box out of hell, Razor. Alright. This looks really good as well. The lights, the little tiny effects that come off it. It's just beautiful. I don't think you can fail this though. This looks so cool. Here, I'll, I'll pass it to you. I'll, I'll, here you go. Oh, I have to use the force, don't you show off. This is the one I've been searching for. Voice ID. 
Admiral Gibb Carius. I will send for you shortly. Alright. Okay, because I've played this before, I know my droids in there. I don't know, my scrotum head person's in there. Come closer, you! Come here, they mustn't hear us! You open the artifact. No one's my sherry, I certainly did. Vader's been scouring the galaxy for someone of your bloodline. What bloodline? What are you talking about? Also, I don't please know what my bloodline is. You don't actually know who I am. Violet Obviously, someone's very sure. Lore master of my kind. And the beginning, see gloves. You don't see your hand. And why should we trust you? Do you want to get out of here? Then listen. Now that Vader's found you, he's in reach of enormous power. He means to conquer death itself. Countless lives are in danger, including your own. Must escape this planet. Yep, way ahead of you on that. Lore master, except I can't reach it. <laughs> Get this right, he's, he's here. Use this to access. How's, how's he got that? Wait, you have a hydro spanner? I don't want to ask, but where have you been hiding that? Don't I mean, the shine on it, the graphics know. on it, this just looks damn good. You know, like, certain areas of things are pretty good. The grip is not so much. Hydro spanner into that access point. The puzzles in this are pretty easy. That sounds promising. My ten-year-old son did it pretty much without asking it for any help. Self-explanatory, really. And that just opens it anyway. Oh, I should be turning, wow. and I, I keep it, forgetting yeah. to turn. Thanks, um, Violet. Violet was it? Scrotum head. The door is activated by voice print. Okay. Can no offense, but this is not our first jailbreak. Step aside, please, and keep quiet. I can simulate the Admiral's voice. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. <laughs> this way. You see, the way he just did that voiceover just there makes me think the Scroton head here um, is the same alien character out of uh, Futurama. If you know who I'm talking about. This lift will take us to the hangar and your ship, but we need okay, to Okay, so another little tiny situation. puzzle. It's like they're simple. Perfect. I wouldn't even call it a puzzle, really. It's just a good, good, good. pushing the levers and stuff. I think we may make it. Hey! Hello. How did you? Ah! Good. Useless soldiers. We better move before any more guards arrive. Okay. Now they should make elevators like this in real life. It's so cool. Oh wow, that's like this window. The wind ball. That's our ship. We gotta find our way down here. Quickly, let's move! Now there's four. It's a shame we can have the gun, right? No, oh, this place will be swarming with troopers in seconds. This is Admiral Karras. All personnel alert. Prisoners have a It doesn't let you move here, I have to literally stand still. I can't actually move. I can move around, obviously, by oh, using the uh, little thingy, and I can obviously physically move. I don't know if I can actually physically. You okay. have to find the priestess. I don't have enough room space there. Down in the caverns beneath us. She's your only way off Mustafar now. Okay. Take my lower totem. It will help her find you. Okay. I hold them off! Find the priestess! She's your only hope! Gotta move! The elevators are going into lockdown. The only route is via these private chambers above us. But he just said we had to go there. down, but didn't he? It can't be worse than this, right? Secure stations! Secure stations! Prisoners have escaped! Locking out all service elevators and doors! Uh, we're sitting blog in here. It's actually waited we'll to, to use the dialogue until the, uh, the dialogue finished. I can't override the controls. Can you try? Uh, I can try. Oh, 
wouldn't go in for a bit then, would it? When I first played this, I thought maybe I have this really horrible feeling came over me where I thought that maybe I'd get to this bit here and it would just teleport me up there, like I would just fade to black and go up there, but it turns out you can actually physically climb it, which is great, because if you couldn't physically climb this, I tell you, people would have been moaning so badly. Uh, and also, if I picked a robot for my ship, I'd pick one with a nice ass, or an ass, at least. I'm up here. Where are the vice? Best not to look down. Right, from here on out, can we just stick to places that don't require climbing, please? Sorry, I can't do that. It's got one of those little tiny robots left from uh, on the movies. Oh, this is where you get your lightsaber. That's cool. Oh, Last time I got this lightsaber, uh, the, the first time I got this lightsaber, should I say, I um, just killed a couple of droids and then carried on going or something like that. But the time I did it earlier, on the first take of this, <laughs> which didn't work out very well, um, the droids started giving me lessons on how to defend myself, which was very different. Oh, this is just orgasmic. Oh, according to the dad, we can get out there. Oh, I think I just had a leak in my pants. Did they change it or something? But it's also a little bit kind of like uh, pixelated. It's along an outer ledge. Oh, okay. I can see the screen door slightly in lava ahead. Damn good though. It really is damn good. This is pretty damn good headset for uh, if you haven't got a PC. That's a really long or a drop. PlayStation. We're gonna be climbing up in a second. Okay. Well, there's a ventilation shaft just above us, which, which means we have to go even what higher. What happens if you jump off? So, great you can't jump off, you won't let you. Okay. Alright, well, oh, I just did that kind of like, uh, I need to walk around, don't I? Keep again. I'm trying to train myself to actually use myself instead of like smooth turning. Oh, Brad! Now, oh. Brad! Oh, you see, I fell then. Oh, I used to be turning again. Last time I didn't even bother grabbing that. Hat. Oh, it's actually kind of beautiful. Is it? At least as far as nightmare hellscapes go. But it's kind of beautiful, but it's like, yeah, it's just kind of hell, isn't it? Well, there should be a way to get this I don't know if you're seeing it a little bit jerky. It's a bit jerky. I don't know if it's because I'm recording at the same time, but it's a bit janky. Ladies first. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I have to get through it, I? This one activated the artifact. I guess that was a sway you used to see her face in that. I'm not sure. I just didn't see it. It's his fault though, you give it a We need to get out of here. Off you go. Basement. Shh. You'll have to find the priestess of my. We could do that. Down in the caverns beneath us. She's your only way off Mustafar now. Take my lord totem. It will help her find you. Cavern, priestess, totem. Is there any version of this plan that doesn't end up with us being dead? Captain? Whatever happens? It's been a good run. Wow. Wow. So now we're in the basement. Oh, the textures is just popping in a little. Not that there is really any. This does look good though. This looks damn good. We got the cavern. Because it's janky. Oh, I just lost it. Okay, 
Okay, you hit the blaster fire with your lightsaber, just like you did with the floating training droid. Go, go, spread out! Okay, we can have blaster rounds. Welcoming committee. I hope this priestess shows up. I can't stop moving. No. Yeah. Ciao, come stay. Yeah, it's a little janky. Hey, the totem's glowing. That creepy guy said you were a descendant of Lady Corvax. It's got dark soul and feel to it as well. Nice, no, it's got like the firekeeper kind of feel to it as well, just there until she turns around here. By the original light. Ah, it appears Vega has finally found. And this sounds like the voice actor from uh, Hi. Are you Into the Badlands, you know, the priestess of that. Philip said we should give you this, that you'd help us escape. We don't have much time. I must help you understand. Once, our world Mustafa was green, filled with life. Lady Kovacs abided here with her husband, Sir Dorin, living in peace with my people. The bright star was our most sacred object. Its energy nourished our planet. One day, our world was attacked. Lady Kovac's husband fell in battle. That sucks. She stole the bride's star. Believing it would be so her husband to life. She created the Eon Engine. A terrible machine. Eon Engine. Many 
any bite here on us. It reduced our world to the wasteland you see now. The bright star is hidden beneath them, somewhere within Lady Kovac's sanctum. Veda has the only key. Yeah, I have to say you would. It kind of sucks now. But it's like just a lot of it. of the ladies to wield it. Veda is here. Help him retrieve the bright star. Help him. Our best chance is to follow and take it from him. In our hands, the bright star could heal our planet. Wait, retrieve the bright star? Oh, hold on, that wasn't the deal. No, 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 no. Circumstances no. have changed. No, why destiny why has bound us together planet? now, and our future is in your hands. Fate has chosen you. Oh, great. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. Cause you know what I wanted? I wanted a lot of fate. I thought that would be fun, you know, some future. Oh my. Lord, Lord Vader, it wasn't our fault. The Mustafarian forced us to help him. Do not insult me with excuses. You know what I seek. Take the artifact key. Open the sanctum lock now. Fucking sweat out here, thank you well. I actually went for my lightsaber last time, but you can't actually pick it up. Do as I command. Uh, I have to now, he's done the whole kind of do as I command thing, eh? I mean, the tallness is not I mean, look at this stormtroopers. Please watch. The prisoner. Someone said to me, you can die. Oh, I'm really tempted to find out. Oh, I can't find out. Hey, Vader, look at me! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Where 
protect my lightsaber off. Oh, that is so heartbreaking, man. Just give me the lightsaber, man. You have acquitted yourself well. I will not be denied. You will help seize the Bright Star. I sense a latent force ability within you. Follow That's me and I will instruct you in its ways. Just to me. No, it's just me. Just me. I'm not going to let anyone you ruin need that. The force I have if you are to survive, a latent force ability in me. Oh, this is a sad end, though, isn't it? Directed by Ben Snow, John Snow's brother. Okay, so anyway, I think this is forward facing. That is Vader Immortal. A playthrough all the way from the beginning to the end. And if you like what you saw, please give me a like. If you don't like what you saw, give me a dislike. Um, please sub if you can. Thank you for watching. Ciao.